Elgato just released the Stream Deck Studio. That is a panel which is rack mountable. It is aimed at broadcast and AV professionals. It has two sections with encoders on both sides for paging, etc. And you need a piece of software to control that. I am sure you know about Companion, which is the software that has traditionally been used with Stream Deck panels of all kinds of uh, types. It also works companion with the Stream Deck Studio, but so does Reactor, which is from Skahoy. And Reactor runs out of a Blue Pill server, for instance. So the Blue Pill server is great for this because on the one side it has USB A, so you can connect a Stream Deck straight to it and it will be net networked and you can configure it inside of Reactor. You don't need a computer like companion runs on. You can run everything from the Blue Pill server. At the same time, that one can also control your Stream Deck Studio and you get all the bells and whistles and advantages of Reactor. I'll show you in this video. So we'll add a panel and on the network, we can discover the MK2 panel. We'll just add it straight away here. We'll add another panel, which is of course the Stream Deck Studio that is also on the network. Notice that it has this IP address 11.5, which is in fact the IP address of the Blue Pill and it has this port number 9922. And that is the port on which this one is. It, what happens behind the scene is that these get converted to raw panel protocol. And this is why Reactor can take them in and work with them as if they were, were basically Skyhoid panels. Okay, so the config that I want to go through here, because we are sort of relating this to the paradigm of companion, which is you have a number of pages and you create navigation between it, is the default configuration we have created for these panels called custom companion style with navigation. So I'll do that for both of these. Just pick these out. So, and that means we now have two panels that are kind of ready to be populated with great stuff that we'll add. I'll add a device also. And uh, here we'll search for devices on our network. We find the Constellation HD here. So we'll just pick, uh, quickly pick this one and we are connected to it. Maybe we'll add another one. I like to have a Kumo router available as well, like this. Okay, save, boom. Now we are good to go and we can go to the configuration tab. The first thing I see is that we have this blue pill lying around and the blue pill is actually also a panel in this context but I want to rearrange it a little bit so my canvas is uh, like clear. So I'll just, you know, rearrange the units like that. I sort of like that. Okay, and then we'll just close it down so we can focus on these two. I wanna uh, work with the Stream Deck MK2 first. So we'll just pick this. And the first thing I can show you is if I press the navigation key, we are cycling through pages on this one, okay? First thing you will do is to add some auxiliary select on the top four buttons. So we'll do this by picking our Auxiliary channel choosing inputs. We can use the batch editor to quickly increment, auto increment these. And now we have actually selection here for auxiliaries on my item switcher. We can move on. We can make this a, um, a preview select. So we will select, uh, or maybe actually, if I just go back here, I want to do program preview select because that has like nice tally and we can make a cut button. So we'll just pick ME number one and input number one, use the batch editor to auto increment these like that. So we have uh, five sources coming in here and then we'll put down here a cut button. We can search that up really quick. So cut on my uh, ATEM. I need to pick the uh, ME row here and that's it. We are now in business with that. I want to have navigation. So the navigation I have here on top again, it is paging through my pages. You see how that is, is, is working down here. And I can also do that from within the configuration tool. So this is my background page. This is where I put everything. I go now to page number two and on page number two, maybe I want to put some actions from or behaviors from AJ Kumo. So we'll do routing on this one. So we'll pick uh, routing and um, on this, we could pick input number one, for instance, and then we could use the batch editor to basically change that for each one of these. But let's say this is uh, great enough for now. What about navigation? Getting back to the first page, we can create a navigation key right there. So we'll just go down here and select page and then we pick background. So when I press that button in the corner, I go back to my background page. When I press the button up here, I'm basically cycling through my pages. I could also create direct pages in this way and etc. So um, that's really neat. So I can do exactly the same on the um, Stream Deck Studio. All I need to do is uh, you can either click it here and it will change over to the configuration for the Stream Deck Studio or you could uh, also, of course, select it from the selector box down here. But we have the same. And now notice those pages because as I'm turning the encoder, I am already doing paging on this product, okay? So that is uh, quite nice. If I go to page number two, let's just try this one out. We can, we can mark these buttons and we can put something on them. Uh, let's just do auxilet once again. 
So that we have auxilect select and uh, quickly just selecting a few values right there. Okay, then let's move on to the next page. We can put something else on these. Uh, we will do, uh, what about macro, play macro on the ATEM? We need to pick a macro number. In this case, we probably should use the batch editor to increase the macro number up to seven. Like that, we have now macros. We can move on to the next page. On this one, we will, um, if we just mark them again, and uh, program preview would be a nice one. Or maybe just actually do a preview program, uh, like more traditional. I think I'll just search like that. So program on the top, we'll do that real quick and pick the ME row. Now you see that we have not like pre created presets for every combination. Rather, we think the batch editor is a great tool because you need, or you probably have no problem identifying the inputs that you wanna use. And then we do the same here for program. Just use that for program select row, picking the ME row and adding the inputs once again, using the batch editor to auto increment these numbers all the way through. Okay, so look at this paging. I can do my selections here. Oh, it seems like I actually had this. Uh, uh, did I pick the, the wrong one here? I wanted to have, no wait, I had program on the top. This is the one that I wanted to be preview. So I'll just mark, mark these again and then select preview because that was of course what I wanted to do. So let's just do preview select over again here. Select this one. Okay, input number one and use the batch editor again to auto increment. That's really quickly done. And we now have a nice little switcher uh, running on this page and I can turn to other pages as well, as you can see. So yeah, that, that works pretty well. In other words, the paradigm of companion is available to you here in this default configuration custom companion style with navigation. You are all for a great start with navigation with the encoders or keys on standard stream decks. You can populate your pages, you can create your own navigation and so on. Final thing I promised to tell you is how are these stream deck devices, including the MK2 actually network enabled. And on our wiki, we have a page. If you search up stream deck here, it will explain everything about how stream deck, but you could do the same by the way for X keys. So if you had um, that for X keys, we have a similar page about X keys and raw panel is the keyword because raw panel means that the, these panels are converted into a standardized protocol that reactor is able to take in and draw these nice renderings of the controllers and the layout. And that is in this case with stream decks done by the package called X panel stream deck. That's like an application you install on your blue pill server. And you see how this is uh, currently set up to allow like up to 10 uh, panels and uh, it uses the background as LED. This is why you see the background painted like it is. You can see the Stream Deck on IP is being set up with the IP address of the Stream Deck Studio, the server port that we want it to appear on, uh, that we want large text funds and so on. So all those things are set up in there, but they are configured out here in Reactor using the standard workflows that you're used to with Skahoy panels. And that makes it really powerful and a great choice for working with Stream Deck devices.